ITE, missa est are the concluding Latin words addressed to the people in the Mass of the Roman Rite, as well as the Lutheran Divine Service. Until the reforms of 1962, at Masses without the Gloria, Benedicamus Domino was said instead. The response of the people or, in the Tridentine Mass, of the servers at Low Mass, the choir at Solemn Mass is Deo Gratias, Thanks be to God. Topic. Meaning Topic. In the 19th century, it was common to explain the phrase elliptically, with missa the feminine participle of mitter, as in ite, missa est congregatio, go, it, viz, the assembly, is dismissed. However, according to Fortescue 1910, the word missa as used in this phrase is not the feminine participle classical Latin missa, but rather a late Latin form of what would be missio in classical Latin, meaning dismissal, for a translation of go, the dismissal is made. Chupunko 1999 noted that some persons have attempted to sublimate the straightforward meaning of the phrase into an interpretation of missio, dismissal, as mission, as in, go and be a missionary, but judges this interpretation as, without foundation, the connection between the meaning, dismissal, and the, deeper, meaning of, mission, was also discussed by Benedict XVI without making an etymological claim in Sacramentum Caritatis 2007. In antiquity, missa simply meant dismissal. In Christian usage, however, it gradually took on a deeper meaning. The word dismissal has come to imply a mission. These few words succinctly express the missionary nature of the church. Historically, there have been other explanations of the noun missa, i. e. as not derived from the formula ite, missa est. Medieval authors took the phrase to contain the noun missa, mass. Thus Guillaume Durand 13th century suggests that the meaning is either elliptic missa est finita, the mass is finished. Or that est should be taken absolutely, as meaning, the Mass exists, is now accomplished fact. But, in fact, the ecclesiastical Latin noun missa, Mass, is itself derived from the missa in this liturgical formula. Also, Du Conge reports, various opinions on the origin of the noun missa, Mass. Fortescue 1910 cites more, fanciful. Etymological explanations, notably a Latinization of Hebrew matztsa, unleavened bread, oblation, a derivation favored in the 16th century by Reuchlin and Luther. Topic: <laughs> History and liturgical use. Topic: It is one of the oldest formulae of the Roman Rite, recorded in Ordo I, 6th or 7th century. But if the noun missa, mass is to be taken as a derivation from this formula, it must predate the 6th century and may date to as early as the 3rd, missa being a re-adoption into written Latin of the spoken late Latin for missio. After the 12th century, accretions began to be added to the mass after the ite, missa est, changing it from a dismissal to a mere formula without relation to actuality. But only in the 16th century, with the establishment of the Tridentine Mass Missal of Pope Pius V, were these accretions officially accepted as part of the Mass. In this revision of the Roman Missal, the ite, missa est, was followed by a silent private prayer by the priest, then by the blessing and finally by the reading of what was called the Last Gospel usually John chapter 1 verses 1 to 14, but since, until the reform of Pope Pius X, saints' feasts came to supplant most Sunday Masses, the Last Gospel on such Sundays was that of the Sunday Mass. With the reform of Pope Paul VI, I.T.E., Missa Est, returned to its function as a dismissal formula. It is omitted if another function follows immediately and the people are therefore not dismissed. I.T.E. Missa Est. Not being variable like the scripture readings and the collect, is part of the order of Mass and has always been printed in that part of the Roman Missal. Being sung by an individual, ideally the deacon, not by a choir, it cannot be part of a polyphonic musical setting of the Mass. Only the Deo Gratias. Response could be set polyphonically but again, because of its brevity, it rarely was, except in some early settings such as Michaud's Messa de Nostre Dame. Other dismissal formulas 
Topic. In 2008 alternative dismissal formulas were approved for mass of the Roman Rite. ITE ad Evangelium Domini Nusciandum. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. ITE in pace, glorificando vita vestra dominum. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. ITE in pace. Go in peace. In each case the response is, Deo gratias. Thanks be to God. The dismissal formulas in other liturgical rites are Ambrosian rite, Prosodamus in pace, let us go forth in peace. Response, in nomine Christi, in the name of Christ. Mozarabic rite, Solomia completa sunt in nomine dnic, votum nostrum sit acceptum cum pace. The celebration is completed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may our prayer be accepted with peace. Response. Deo gratias. Thanks be to God. Apostolic constitutions. Go in peace. Antiochene, Alexandrian and Byzantine liturgies. Let us go forth in peace. Said by the deacon. Response. In the name of the Lord. Then the priest says a short. Prayer of dismissal. Topic. See also. Topic. List of Latin phrases. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Fortescue, A. 1910. I T E Missa Est. The Catholic Encyclopedia. New York. Robert Appleton Company. CITE Missa Est in the 1962 Missal Romanum with MP3 audio